Well, welcome everyone. Um, tonight I wanted to talk about something really important. First of all, this is Raj from Miami Gardens, and we want to discuss pornography, um, particularly in the context of black same gender loving um, communities, because I honestly do believe that in some ways it could destroy um, the black gay community. As if we don't already have to deal with AIDS and HIV, the acceptance from the black church, all these other issues. Um, I think pornography is going to become a big issue, and it, it's, it's, it's concerning me. Um, most of us have done it, right? Um, we watched, um, look at, some of us, I know some of my um, acquaintances have even participated in pornography at some point, or they were solicited to do so. Um, it has become somewhat of a fixture in American culture. It used to be taboo, but not so much anymore. It has even become a fixture in black gay culture. Pornography, folks, is a $97 billion industry. $97 billion. That's more than Amazon, eBay, Google, Apple, and Netflix combined. We know that in our culture, images are important. And I know that people ask the question, why should I care? Why should I care what a young man or a young woman does within the privacy and confines of their own home? Why should I care? Why should I bother? But we know that cultural, in, in our culture, images are important. Messages are important. Take, for example, the whole thing about trading in your car every five years. There is really no logic to that, is there? We know that cars have become tremendously reliable over the past two decades or so. There's really no need to, per se, change our cars every five years. But because of the automobile industry, and their influence through marketing and advertising, they've convinced us that it is just a way of life, that culturally we are supposed to change in our cars every five years. The same thing goes for a personal style, right? We have to have the latest fashions. If, if this year you're wearing a certain amount of shoes and it was last year, you're out of style, you're not hip, you're not cool anymore. Folks, these things aren't accidents. These corporations that, that, that cater to us, that cater to us in terms of our fashion, our cars, and our, and our, and our material things, they spend millions of dollars in advertising and marketing to change this, our mind, and make us believe things that aren't necessarily true, that aren't necessarily rational. So the point I'm making is that we start to believe things we hear, we start to believe things we see on television as being reality and online as well. And it is, if it's repeated enough times, it becomes our reality and we start to believe these things. Now think about this within the context of pornography. Many are addicted to it, but they'll deny it. They watch it over and over again. So it's no surprise that after a while, it starts to affect the way, it starts to affect, affect the way they see themselves, the way they see others, the way they view themselves in romantic relationships. I, I guess most of us are able to look at pornography. It's a contractual thing. We look at it, we get our pleasure, we move on. But there's a sizable, what I think is a sizable chunk of black gay society that when they look at pornography, they start to see these images as being real. And if their lovers don't have the kind of bodies that the characters in these pornographic films have, then they're no longer attracted to them. If their lovers don't have the same libido or sexual dexterity that these characters have, then they push them to the wayside. What's frightening for me, though, is lately or recently this gonzo-style pornography that used to be a fixture within or only within the Euro-American gay pornographic scene is now starting to implicate itself within the African-American gay pornographic scene. And of course, many of you know what the Gonzo style is, that reality theme, right? Because in the past, remember the old-fashioned pornographic films? They used to be corny, that's true, but they had a plot to them. They had a theme, right? Most of the time, the men used condoms, and they would pull out whenever there was ejaculation. But recently, pornographic films have taken on this reality show theme where men are partaking in very risky behavior 
i.e. having anal sex without protection, beating up on each other, slamming each other into walls, um, you having pressing down, you having boots on and pressing down in genitalia, all this kind of stuff, electrocution, and it's just some weird, hideous things. My dear brothers, this is not healthy. The worst part is that pornographic viewers, and particularly those who are addicts, view these images so frequently, right, that they actually start to believe that it's reality, and that line becomes blurred. They start to believe that this depraved human behavior is love and that it is acceptable. It's not acceptable. It's really not. Sexual intercourse should be between men who love each other or at the very least have a general respect for each other, a general attraction. But nowadays, the sexual act between two consenting adults who are not relatives, who are not consanguineal, because of a physical attraction or love for each other have been tainted and have been replaced with a rapacious fixation on body parts. It's like there's no longer a handsome young man anymore. He's just a piece of ass, right? There's no longer that fine brother. He's just a dick. There's no longer that beautiful young lady. She's just pussy, right? Pardon the language, but that's what's happening to our society. And it truly, truly, truly concerns me. We need to get back to respecting one another. We need to perhaps cut back on the amount of pornography we allow into our lives. We simply just need to get back to loving each other. Because when love comes first, respect comes afterwards and everything else falls into place. We need to start seeing people less as commodities and more as human beings who are deserving of respect and dignity. Simply put, once again, we need to love each other. This is Raj coming at you from Miami Gardens. Take care, everyone. Cut back on that pornography. Be careful of how much of it you're allowing into your life. Much love and unlimited peace. Shout out to Gay Black World and Tobacco Twine on YouTube. You guys rock. Thank you so much.